Hi to all, it's serious with a swift tutorial on bee houses. Bee houses, not big houses. Oh god. You will need a level 3 farming skill and the gusts will look a little daunting in the beginning. 40 wood, 8 coal, 1 iron bar and 1 maple syrup. The first 3 are pretty easy to get and if you're not sure about the last one, take a peek at the video in the top right corner. Bee houses can be built both inside and outside but won't produce honey inside even if there are flowers nearby, so not even the greenhouse can save you. If there are no flowers present within the range of the bee house, it will produce wild honey every 3-4 to four days. But here comes the good part. During specific seasons, Pierre will sell you flower seeds and if you plant those within range, the honey will change from wild to that specific flower honey, which will also boost up its price. This little table gives you a clear overview which flowers yield the most gold. Sadly, from the forageable flowers, only crocus and sweet pea can affect the final produce, so dandelions, daffodils and others are useless here. The aforementioned range of the bee house is as follows, and luckily only one flower is needed to get you a specific honey for as many bee houses that are within the range. Also, there is no mandatory spacing, so you can put as many bee houses as you can fit right next to each other. For some vital points. Bee houses produce honey during spring, summer and fall, and serve only as decoration in winter. The way to partly overcome this is using the ginger island later on in the game. In case there are more flowers around, the closest one dictates the honey flavor. So if you are for some reason going for a pretty farm instead of a rich farm, watch the flower placement so your measly sunflower doesn't spoil your fairy rose honey. The leading aspect for honey is which flower is fully grown at the time of harvest, which means if you harvest the flower before the honey is done, it will turn back to wild honey, and also the other way around. If you place a beehive near a not yet full grown flower, which will grow before the harvest, you'll get that specific honey. You can cheat that by having honey waiting for a flower to fully grow before harvesting. If you want to produce that honey a little faster, hit the like button. Does it really work? I guess you'll have to find out. Be careful when relocating bee houses. If you break it down before harvesting the honey inside, no matter which honey you had before, it will turn back into wild honey instead. Well, actually it's gonna be honey, but it's all the same. And if you're thinking about working with the garden pots, these will sadly not work with beehives. For some reason, those little bees apparently don't really care for them. The honey itself cannot be consumed, so honey and tea is a no-go. So sorry for the British folk. It can however be used to produce meat and warp protons to the farm. Apart from that, it's needed in the community center, for fishing ponds, and in our beloved sewing machine. Honey is also considered an artisan goods, so it will benefit from the artisan profession quite a lot. Now, there is no need to be concerned anymore, you know everything you need to know about bee houses. So go abuse that knowledge, be kind, be well, and I hope you'll be here next time. Okay, I'll stop being so idiotic now. See ya!